Hi there friends and welcome to episode 18 of the Sleeper series. I'm Icon and today we will explore some ruins and do some trade. At least that's my plan. Sadly Gracie is still on a uh, psychotic wanderer. I don't know why but she felt like it was necessary at this point. That's okay Gracie. We all have our times of uh, contemplation and wonder. Last episode I have... Uh, well, removed la the last part of the folk fidelism here in my in my ranks, or folk fidelism, whatever the, I think it was fidelism, whatever. But we we are we are now no longer uh, plagued by unbelievers that conflict with our way of life, which is really awesome. Meanwhile, Hawk is tailoring some robes out of our victims because that's what civilized people do. All right. Since this will take a while longer, well, we're going to uh, explore that complex tomorrow, I'd say. Alright, well, let's expand that zone here. This is merely my chem fuel storage. I mean, I don't have any boomalopes anymore, but, you know, I got that slight feeling as if they would come back again. Alright, let's uh, try and tame us yet another iguana, because, I don't know, it's kind of a habit. From a past life. Long time viewers might know what I'm referring to. If you don't, feel free to ask me. Okay, but iguanas or not? Let's see, how many robes can we craft? Hmm. Rewarded warfare. Psychic animal pulser. Useless. Tornado generator. Fun. Two groups of tribes people. Well, that's quite easy, but the rewards are really crappy. I really don't know why I should uh, go for those. You see? Too bad. I like fighting quests, honestly. I do like them a lot. But not under these circumstances. Okay, we're just going to send Gracie and... Well, let's send Gracie and Victoria. They make a great team. And... They're going to sell the chem fuel and a lot of other things that we don't need anymore. Of course, not the tainted clothing. Nobody wants the tainted clothing. Camel hide duster, whatever. We're, we're just going to make some clean sweep here from with the old stuff. Okay. I don't want to overpack this uh, uh, caravan too hard. Alright, let's send them over there. Alright. Just realized that last episode I wanted to use Umbra's Molotov cocktails to to torch the remains of the items here, but then I realized that this place is in so close vicinity to my power generation that I can't just uh molly the crap away. That's so sad. I love it when you can't just molotov your problems away. That's a real comfy and nice feeling. Okay, so they really take a long time. It's a tragedy. But the, the stuff out here will rot sooner or later, so I don't care. Okay. I love it how stable this place is, uh, has grown. We don't have too many issues here with uh, direct survival anymore. It's really good stuff. Oh well, let's not get too confident. Another exotic goods trader. Wonderful. Hawk is actually a person with a certain uh, skill for social things. That might be my next priest. Who knows? Oh, dromedary. And a ram. Oh, too bad. They are not buying anything for my items here. They're buying the iguana, though. We take the iguana, guys. 
Or do you? Yes, you do. I need the money. Beyond that, they got really nice things, but I don't have money at home. And since Gracie and Victoria will be on the road for quite some time longer, I don't think that we will be able to buy anything here. Ergo and Bubs are for sale. Okay. These names. But hey, we finally made it for the first time to our neighbors to do some cultiv uh, cultivated trade. That's wonderful. And these guys are only selling a machine pistol. Seriously. But they're selling a lung. We're not going to buy a lung. We're going to buy reinforced barrels. Or at least one of them. Can we also buy ourselves some shells? No. Tragic. That would have been really good. It can't. No. Definitely no. Oh, here, shells. Wonderful. So, we're not able to buy all the shells because they're ludicrously uh, costly, but it's okay. So, I bought myself a, a mortar construction kit, which is really, really a good thing. I mean, I do know that I was able, that I am a well able to produce the shells myself. Shouldn't have sold the uh, camper. Whatever. But at the same time, I feel like it was the better choice to do so. Uh, I mean, to buy those uh, shells. I don't really need any money to desperately right now. Therefore, it's completely okay to spend some uh, money for ammunition. Oh, I should start and store these shells inside here too. Shell. Mortar shell. Yes, all the shells. Alright. We're slowly, slowly filling our traps here. That's partially because of the thrombos eating my sacrauro cactuses. They're just munching away my, my wood. You know what, guys? We need to... We need to harvest that wood before it gets eaten. They're gifting me some components. Thank you, guys. It's actually a very appreciated gift. I, for myself, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to kill those thrombos, but at the same time, not with Gracie and Victoria not present right now. I mean, I'm really, really unlucky in this run when it comes down to weaponry. We have found such you uh opportunities for acquiring better weapons it's insane we're still stuck with so primitive weaponry at many points it's uh, really no not cool so we're going to i'm going to allow victoria to be the research drone from now on so that means this is going to be victoria's room now There's no reason to have that research table in somebody else's room. Okay. Meanwhile, the thrombos are eating everything. It's really fun how invasive thrombos are once you are in a region where there's not vegetation literally everywhere. That's the moment when you notice how much these things are actually eating. And how annoying it can be. Gracie is catatonic because of a recreation starvation. Okay. That's tragic. Wooden slice cap. Okay. Okay then. A wooden slice cap. I really need to check out a, a photo of that. I can't even imagine what that's supposed to be. But that's just a problem when you're when you're German and you don't know any, uh, all the English words. <laughs> well, that's okay. All right. So turns out Victoria uh, Gracie is not available for the raid of the complex. 
actually, why, why are we, uh, so... Say, sir, you are capable of shooting. And you are actually one of my better shots. So, why the heck are you... Like that, and where's that assault rifle? Seriously, guys. Where did Gracie call, uh, put her assault rifle? Is it below her head again? Or is it now lost? Sometimes things just get lost and I never know why. Ah, no. She dropped it there, right next to the machining table. That's good. Alright. So, let's head over to that place. We're going to bring Sir and Hawk over to this. Raphael needs to stay. Victoria will be the kite, if necessary. Umbris and Raphael will be enough to defend this place. I'm pretty confident that this should work. Since the threat attacking your colony will be always downscaled, if the whole crew ain't at home, the attack will be smaller, so... That shouldn't be too lethal for us. Oh, do we have somebody who's, uh... Doctoring? Yes. Really important to know that when somebody is, uh... Ketatonic and you don't have a doctor assigned that can... That translates into starvation. Okay, now, we arrived at the ancient complex. Let's just hope it doesn't burn down like the last one. Being greeted by a exploding fuel cell while entering that complex was not too fun. Alrighty. What's that? An ancient machine. I'm really happy that these uh, storage crates are not uh, woundable by fire. Oh boy, here we go again. Whole place will burn down. Honestly, I, I start to hate these fuel cells. They're just stupid, honestly. Okay, we're, we're just going to orbit that. And... Just like the last time, we'll have to wait until everything is burned. Because there's a crisp and cozy temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius inside there. I don't know, I don't like that. Because that there's uh, not much you can do about that. Sure, you could try and quench that fire, but honestly, with the, with the roof collapses going on and all the, and all the other jazz, that's just uh, extremely, extremely sassy and asking to die. So, just like the last time, we're now forced to just wait until this whole thing's just, uh, burned to the ground. Well, let's see what'll happen if I just let them do whatever they want. Sir is tantruming because of the hunger. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Draft Hawk and uh, check out the rest of the situation here. Collection of supplies. So let's see. There's a couple of chests here. Ancient unstable fuel node yet again. So yeah, this is a real party pooper. These ancient fuel nodes, they're boring. Because they just do nothing except for, oh, I need to run. And now there's nothing to do here anymore. That's all they do. That's honestly quite boring. But, let's see, maybe this gets better in the future. Let's just reform that caravan and be happy about what we found. Because honestly, the amount of advanced components we gained there, and also a few slices of herbal medicine, yeah, why not? I mean, there's seriously worse things to find. So, what's that? Victoria is on a fire starting for spree. It's okay. Go crazy. 
Okay, wonderful. So as soon as Gracie is uh, back on her feet, I want to do one of those uh, quests here. Manhunter pack. Yorkshire Terriers. The... There's an attack of voracious Yorkshire Terriers. You know what? They're just going to run into my trap, so that's that. If they find the entrance to the traps, that is. Doesn't seem like they are uh, good at finding the place into my uh, the the way into my base. So let's uh, preemptively forbid these doors just to make sure that nobody is accidentally uh, acroing these uh, little doggos. And now begins the killing. So. That's the tragic end of a of a manhunter pack. Sad and simple story. Omris broke down because she was greedy for a impressive bedroom. Jeez. So Gracie, how long are you already uh, catatonic? Three days. So it can't take forever to get back on your feet, doesn't it? So. Since Gracie is now back on her feet, sir, it's time to put down the uh, the gun that's Gracie's. But actually, now that I think about it, you should equip the Masterwork Revolver. You should always equip the Masterwork Revolver if you can. It's a simple truth. Alright, wonderful. Gracie's back uh, on her feet. And I decided that we should use our agricultural power here finally for some cotton plants. Just a couple of them. So I can build some more advanced recreational options. Somehow I totally lost that out of my uh, out of my view. But that's okay. All right. So ancient data bank. So, they are willing to let you visit, okay. That was uh, happening on my force to land at Awakening site. That's what I wanted to try. To get their information, hack into the drone's computer. Hacking takes time, but those strong intellectual skill can speed up the process. Outlanders from Onoldio will detect the drone's energy signature. As long as it's present, they'll send attackers approximately eight every eight hours to destroy and steal the Okay, so basically I will need to have a researcher present who's uh, going to crack that drone, and at the same time we need to fight off Onoldians. Okay. Question is, do I want to do this while Omris is among us or not? I mean, Omris will... ...leave in a couple of days. Although nine days are a pretty long time, nevertheless. Oh, it's hard to tell for me. And con considering how how I see my people shooting here, the Abiyasre kinship is attacking us. Okay. Do I have traps left? Yes, one. Awesome. I'm not going to take an initiative on this. Everybody's tired in the dead of the night. It's not a good time to to take uh, measures like that. No, no. We're just going to equip our revolver and wait for them to attack us. Alright, there we go. Wakey, wakey! So here we go. Nonviolent people up front, please. Worst shots right next to that, please. All right, there we go. Now begins the killing. All right. 
first of the tribals are using these sandbags to their advantage. What a shame. So... There we go. So the best thing to do in this situation is just to step around the corner and let them go into their own demise. I got short range weaponry, this will not go well for them. Got a lot of revolvers, which are served best on short distances. There we go. Goodbye, you fools. Wow. W wasn't that the nudist uh, faction? Yes. You see, that's why I'm not afraid of them. Going naked for uh, into a gunfight, that's uh, as stupid as you can be. Alright, good job guys, good job. Yo Omris, this, uh, I, I don't want you to steal my excellent quality revolver. Put it back please. Wonderful. You can't have it as long as you have to fight for us and with us. So the emu is not dying from that gunshot wound. We have to change that. You see, animals that are eating from my fields are not really welcome here. Oh, there's another boomalo. Okay, wonderful. Let's try to tame those. Lowe's salvation. You know what? I just realized that I don't want to risk that this way. Just wait until they come into my base. They always come into my base. Low Jones. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's lying deep in the desert. Jeez. And you expect us to save you? I highly doubt that happening. I highly doubt that will be happening. The grammar in my head is relentless. All right, there we go. So we're back on five components. That's not really uh, a uh, a comforting comforting amount. So I think I'm going to start these uh, quests for Zenzalor as soon as Omris is gone. I feel like I don't want to uh, spawn a, a heavier a, a heavyweight event on myself while there's somebody around here to to play nanny for. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a good choice to me. All right, Hawk is good doing the good stuff. How's Hawk's crafting going? Pretty decent. And finally, Gracie is uh, taming iguanas like she should. This makes me happy. And you see, I knew that sooner or later the boomalopes will stroll towards my fields and eat. Um, and eat a uh, smoke leaf. Toria is on a fire starting spree. Okay. You guys, uh,. Why is stuff exploding here? So... Alright, we need to repair that battery. Oh, come on, Gracie. Seriously? Okay. Well, luckily we are digging out more steel right now, so things will be fine eventually. Okay. Send her out for that. I feel like I should try to go for some... To go for some extra steel income. I think it's time to think about a... About the worth of a smelter here. So, reinstall the steel urn. Gracie's room. Do this please, Hawk. And then, we're 
need to put up a smelter here. Alright. The smelter will of course take a little bit longer. Because we are pretty hard out of steel. I do have enough components though, that's good. So I might be needing a visit with my uh, friends there next door to use recreational drug. Yo, Omris, then, then don't. I mean, if you don't like that, you don't need to. So I will gain goodwill with the South, Southeast Reese reader if her average mood is above 50%. I don't think that will be happening anytime too soon. Cost call. Good old cost call. Come on, Raphael, please bury that guy. It's been a long time that we had this cost call person here. <laughs> really, really long time. So. Let's see if we can tame that beast. Alright. The Boomalo went to revenge. Just like we were. Just like I was uh, afraid it would. Alright, let's burden that thing. And get Gracie out of there. Luckily this uh, didn't uh, turn into a lethal situation for her. No blood, nothing, you know. Well, this thing is pretty uh, mutilated. Alright, let's try and tame another one, but uh, there's the time for it. Ooh. Alright, wonderful. So... Can't wait for that gunlink thing. Looks like Omris is not going to be too happy about her stay here. Well, this does teach me one thing. It is, for my faction, really, really hard to have a positive impact or a positive uh, impression on outsiders. We're just not that good at these things. So we got ourselves that boomalope now. Wonderful. Just realized that the boomalope is a really, really good asset for the settlement to just um to just generate the chem fuel we need on the side. I shouldn't have so uh, sold that chem fuel I had there, but now it's too late to to be sorry. I didn't realize, or, well, no, I didn't really think about the fact that I was already that close to Mortar Age, you know, basically, what happened there. Alright, wonderful, there's a ship chunk out there, waiting to be dismantled. Okay, now, we will need yet another caravan to Mebrod. I have so many things that I want to sell. Can't uh, can't say no to that. So let's send Sir on, on alongside with Gracie, and we're going to sell all that wondrous people robes. Not sure what I will bring home. I feel like bringing home some some components because i feel like we're 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 running low on those as of late and then since the potatoes here are finely grown i want to try something else here and that's removing the animal flap And who's my best handler after that? Raphael. 
who can't rope the boomalope because he's not good enough in uh, handling animals. Oh dear. But yeah, the ch ch chinchilla is actually eating the potatoes. They weren't eating the hay grass, but they're eating the potatoes. Oh no, a blight has afflicted. Uh. Oh dang. Tragic. Let's just hope I can save the cotton plants. Anything else I'm not too concerned about. But honestly, those, uh... Those cotton plants, they're really important for me. Yeah, silly fools, they... They did so too early. There we go. Okay, we, we got that blight under control. Wonderful. Now I just need to bring that boomalope back into its kennel, but... This will happen in a day or two. Until then, it's living in the freezer. It's the freezer lope. <laughs> you know what? If an idea is stupid and makes you giggle, you should definitely uh, see it through. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are now at the end of today's episode. We're going to uh, do a little trade in the outro. Drop your comments down below. It's been my absolute pleasure to be here for you. Next episode, we're going to start our quest for Zenzalor, because I feel like it's about time to, to try and get those artifacts rolling and start Gracie's larger, larger story. And of course, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the show to make it more visible. I would be super grateful if you also checked out my channel, turned on the subscription and the notifications, and don't miss a thing in the future. Well, that text was a little improvised, as you might notice. I hope you had fun, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.